I actually just got a text message a few minutes ago from the previous owner, or actually the current owner of my previous car, the white 900 that I did a bunch of videos on on the channel. Um, him and I had been talking back and forth for probably four or five months right now about him selling the car, and he just hit me up and said that he's ready to sell it, so hopefully I'll be going down tonight or tomorrow or sometime soon, I'll buy it, and I'll have two 900s. At U-Haul right now, getting the trailer hooked up to the G-Wagon. The trailer's actually pretty big, but it should be a good day. So the trailer's all hooked up. Uh, it's back there. And the good thing about towing in a G-Wagon is that it's still pretty fast, even with the trailer hooked up, which is nice. All right, so the car is on the trailer now. If you pan back there, you can probably see it through the back window. And we were able to get the car out of the field where it's been sitting for like the last year and a half, I think, maybe one year. I don't know specifically how long. Uh, I'm towing it with the G-Wagon right now. And I have to say, the G-Wagon is normally a very quick and fast car. Not so much right now, and the braking distance has been increased a lot. But middle lane, slow, two and a half hours back home, some traffic, stuff like that. But it's just nice to have my car back. It's uh, in pretty rough shape compared to when I sold it. It has no brake fluid. It's smoking a ton of oil out of the front and back of the car. Uh, the rust got a little worse. The paint is totally shot now. The windshield's cracked. It's missing its rear view mirror. And uh, so pretty much everything's wrong with it, but I'm so happy to have it back. So I'll uh, talk to you guys when I get home. Far home. You can see how much the G-Wagon squatted down in the back. Here it is. It's really, really dirty. But this is right where it sat two years ago in one month when I sold it. Just like this. Now I have to put the battery from this one in here so I can get it started. Awesome. All right, so behind me, $700 convertible and my old white sub in the driveway together and I could not be happier. Now I have to go drop this U-Haul trailer off. So this is blowing a ton of smoke. Um, I don't really know why. I think the valve guide seals are shot. Um, I don't know, it still runs and drives, but I'll have to figure this one out. You can see the paint is just totally bad now. It was bad before, but this is like a whole new level. I don't even think any of this is going to come off, to be honest with you. I'm going to try washing it and see how it goes, but I do not have high hopes for this. I also got a spare transmission. Pretty sure it's blown. The shadow louvers are still there. The front bumper is still there. This car had the rear-mounted battery set up. And, uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's really a mess, but... Very salvageable it's all still there so as some of you remember my colorful steering wheel which most of you hated will be going back in and I'll probably put this steering wheel in that one there's the motor same thing all right here's the car so Boston Auto Blog and I are gonna wash it right now and see how it comes out I don't have high hopes for it looking better So the previous, previous owner had taken the front bumper off and some people like the way this looks, but I really hate it and think it looks terrible. So fortunately the car still came with the original bumper. So 
we're gonna put that back on now all right so these uh, are the bolts that hold the bumper into the car and they're a little corroded and they're just generally pretty dirty and I couldn't clean them up fully with a rag so a little tip is if you use this PB blaster and you spray it on the bolts uh, make sure you do it in a glass cup because if you do it in a plastic cup it will actually like here's the remnants of me trying that last week it melted the bottom out of the plastic cup and it's kind of fused to the driveway so don't do that use glass so just uh, spray a little in the cup you don't have to fill it up all the way but just enough to cover them and get the threads and stuff like that and they'll be much cleaner okay so we tried doing a time-lapse video of this I'll show some of it and then the camera fell when we actually got it on in the right position so no time-lapse but it's back on and it looks so much better So I have Boston Autoblog here in the car, and the car has really no brakes right now, and it has a brake leak, so we found, could you pump the brake pedal please, yep. Mike? You can see, uh, there's a bunch, keep pumping it, there's a bunch of brake fluid. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's shooting out the back wheel right here whenever he does that. Yeah, keep doing it, like a bunch. Oh yeah, he's losing pressure now. Okay, so it's leaking out the back right here. All right, yeah, yeah. Going. All right, so I tightened one of the bolts that holds the brake line into the caliper on the rear driver's side. And like you can see right now, the car is actually stopping and it wasn't before. So it still seems to be losing a bit of pressure, but it's gotten a ton better. So I might bring that to a shop because it seems like it's where the brake lines meet the lines coming from, I think in the body, which is over the axle and I can't get to them. but. I'll get up a little speed here and then do a stop. And... Yeah, it's stopping much better. So as you can see, uh, the exterior is looking quite a bit better, but the interior is really dirty. So I'm just going to get the vacuum out and clean it up. And then after that, it's time for that steering wheel to go. All right, so I realized that uh, this video didn't really have an intro, so I'm gonna do that now. Um, essentially, this car was listed on Craigslist probably back in January, I saw it. I instantly recognized it as you would. Wrote to the guy, uh, he was asking more than I was willing to pay for it. So I told him, look, if you ever get to the point you want the car gone, hit me up, uh, maybe we can come to an agreement. So today was that day. Him and I have been going back and forth since January, basically. So. It's been five months of going back and forth and me not knowing whether I was going to get this thing back or not. So I'm so happy. The seller was just an incredibly nice guy. I'm so happy I got to deal with him. And there's been a lot of interesting folks I've dealt with. And he wasn't one of them, which was nice. So yeah, I have this car back. Um, little channel update. Basically, every car you see on my channel, I no longer own. The only cars that I do currently have are the S-Class. Obviously, this white 84 900 turbo, which a good portion of my videos were on. And also, uh, right here, it's a 92 900 turbo convertible, which is a project car, but I got it super cheap in it. I love that thing. So, I have two 900s now. also have a G63, which uh, was in today's video, obviously towed this home with it. So, all right. Uh, thanks for watching, and I feel like my spark for videos is coming back now that I got my my buddy back so and I've been sitting here apologizing to the car for letting it go I feel like I'm talking to an ex-girlfriend about why we broke up in the past and it's kind of awkward no that's weird I don't actually feel that way but you know what I'm saying all right guys cars with beige thanks for watching <laughs>